UFC claims that Raul Rosas Jr. is just 18 years old, the youngest winner in UFC history. After he submitted Jay Perrin at 244 of the first round with a rear naked choke, Rosas took the microphone at T-Mobile Arena and did what so many of his much older peers have done over the years. Rosas yelled, Dana, 50 G's baby. Rosas was looking for a post-fight bonus following his win in the night's final preliminary fight and he wasn't out of line asking for it. He was the center of the intense scrutiny all week in the build-up to the fight and he got a huge reception from the crowd when he entered the cage. Meanwhile, on the other side, his opponent, Jay Perrin, entered the fight in a no-win situation. If he had won, he, he will beat an 18-year-old kid. And if he has lost, he was beaten by the youngest fighter in UFC history in his promotional debut. I was very curious about Raul Rosas Jr. grappling experience, so I searched him up on Smooth Comp which is a website that tracks your Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu records. When I searched his account up, I was suspicious that his real age wasn't 18. In fact, it was 21 years old to date. UFC tried to market him as the youngest fighter ever to make money to get attention from the crowd. If you want to see the evidence, just search up Raul Rosas Smooth Comp BJJ. And you can see in 2019, he competed in the 17 years old No Gi division, which he won both matches. But in order to compete in the 17 years old, you must be 17 years old. And that was 2019 when he was 3 years ago. And the UFC claims he's 18 years old this year. At the same year, he also competed in the adult division, which is normal. Younger kids can compete in the adult division with no problem. But competing in the same division he was was a 17 year old is normal as well. So that's it. That's my take on Ro Rosas Jr. Controversial age.